I I got involved in cooking because my granny actually made me. When I picked my options at school, it was woodwork, metalwork, uh, French, Spanish, and Italian. And she thought, well, what are you going to do with that? You know, when you leave school, you have to learn to keep a house and a husband. You need to get home economics under your belt. So I had to drop the boys type subjects, as she called them, and take home economics. And it started from there that it turned out I was actually quite good at it. Got in great with my home economics stroke food and nutrition teacher and went on from there. We had this small hamlet in the middle of a bustling, busy Ashton Lane place where everyone knew where they were going so it took a wee while for them to come up the stairs and it was all this waste ends best kept secret and all that kind of thing. So <laughs> we lasted about five years there and it was just too small for us to be mm -hmm. able to move on and go further and we started looking for properties and we found one in Jordan. Going from school to the industry, you know, there was a stop gap of college for a couple of years on a hospitality mm -hmm. management course just to get a picture of everything plus extra um, nighttime courses to do all different sort of food subjects but being a girl and going into the industry it tended to be the pastry department that I went into I went off up to Aviemore to work um, when I was 17 and ended up in the pastry corner and that's where I remained through several really nice high-end places in Scotland then went off to France to work for a year in a small hotel again always sticking with pastry and came back and thought I just don't like all these chefs shouting all the time and it's not for me so I decided to go out on my own and be a self-employed pastry chef where I could go in and out of restaurants and hotels provide them with the excellent pastry that I would have produced within the hotel but I could walk away and say I chef and it was great, mm -hmm. but you just miss that buzz and the whole atmosphere of being in a restaurant, working in a team and pleasing the customers, just, you, I didn't have it and maybe I focused on the negative part of being in the kitchen or maybe I just talked too much and that's why the chefs were shaking <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually the latter. So I thought, right, okay. I'll go and do it myself and we'll, we'll go and do dinner parties in people's houses. So I did £10 for three courses where I would cook, serve and clean up. Wow. I know, <laughs> not £10. Now. In fact, I don't go out now. <laughs> but at one of these dinner parties, somebody said, you know, you should have a restaurant. And I'm thinking, oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going back into a chef thing again. And then she was at the next dinner party. They all seemed to be in and around the West End, these mm -hmm. dinner parties that I was doing then. So that's going back, oh, 20 odd years now. And um, she said, are you sure about this? Why don't you come down and see the place? So I, I went to Ashton Lane, it was above Jinty McGinty's. Mm -hmm. And she says, this here. And I'm saying, no, and by then my sister had come home. She worked away front of house on cruise ships around the world and um, she came with me. And she says, and this is a place that's really cute, we 28 seater, down this lovely cobblestone. So we moved out to Jordan Hill and it was all very, again, bish, bash, bosh, dim the lights, candles on, we need to open tonight. You know, half of the place not built, curtains, you know, taped up, <laughs> um, just to have that whole look about the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then this place came up now nine years ago, which um, was obviously Kelvin Grove Street and it seemed miles away from the wee suburban mm -hmm. area in Jordan Hill where we were and my husband and I drove down and no there's nothing here well this is you know it was air organic way back mm -hmm. then which was out in a limb on itself at that point this place is styled like a, an airport lounge mm -hmm. And there was wee windows along like an aeroplane and the menu was like a boarding card. <laughs> so it was so quirky for a couple of girls that were doing ham and cabbage and homemade oat cakes, you know, so it just had such a different feel about it. So I came back a couple of times to view it again and started to think, all right, okay, well, we can make it look like Jordan Hill and we'll get the homely feel. And, and that's where everything just started.